See, when you have a problem in your life, you have to find a solution. You cannot be one of those people that just complain about situations and you don't do anything about you don't do anything about it. I used to be that person. And if you are ever confused about your answers and what you need to do, all you have to do is just just shut up. Sit down. And all the answers that you need and that you're seeking will come to you. Well, hello everyone. My name is Princess. I am Prestige. Or you can just simply call me P, whichever is fine. Let's go ahead and get into this video. We have a lot to talk about. So come on in, pull up a seat, and let's chit chat. Distractions. We don't have time for that. Focus on yourself and prosper. Hey you guys, I just got to my hotel room and I'm going to be honest, I really don't even feel like vlogging right now. Vlogging, I don't feel like doing this. I'm just, it's been a long day. It's, it's seriously been a long day. I had a flight delay because the AC wasn't working on the flight and so we got stuck at the airport twisting our thumbs i'm just showing you guys the bathroom but this shower is like so freaking nice look at that shower i love showers like this i don't take baths i'm more of a shower girl and i spend like a very very long time in the shower this is at the marriott i think it's called marquise marriott in houston and this is very nice and i am so so loving this room like this room is amazeballs let me turn what where are the lights wait first let me let me let you guys see this view let me oh y'all see my figure my little petite figure this is the view y'all oh my goodness this makes me feel so good like this is my high-rise home this is my high-rise home except um i'm a little bit higher up like the building that you see over there, the one to the left, that's my high rise all the way up. But this is a great little, you know, feeler outer. But this is amazing. Let me turn the lights on. Um, how do you work this place? How do you work this? Let me see. No, that's not it. Am I supposed to like clap my hands and the lights come on? Where are the light openers? How do you open the lights? I don't even know how you work this place. How do you work this? <laughs> Found it. <laughs> Let me turn the TV off. 
of exhausted, but I'm like so excited at the same time just to be here. And initially I was like, I don't even think I'm gonna vlog. I just kind of want to be in the moment of all of this. Um, I wanna talk briefly about manifestation and how you know that you're getting closer to what you're manifesting or you're on the right frequency of the things that you desire. For instance, if you want a specific car, like you want a certain car, you're always going to see that car. If you want a certain home, have those visions in your mind of the type of home that you want. Um, you're going to keep getting closer and closer to it, closer and closer. And this right here, I wasn't even expecting this. I'm here for a conference and the room was a part of a package deal with Coach Stormy and I guess they get a certain discount if they can book a certain amount of rooms. I'm not really sure how that worked. So I had no idea how my room was gonna look. I had no idea what floor I was gonna be on. I just didn't know. And the fact that I'm in this room with this beautiful view, view, <laughs> with this beautiful view, like right here, lets me know that I'm on the right frequency and a vibration to obtaining everything that I see in here. It's just confirmation. So if you're ever, if you're someone who's spiritual and you're looking for confirmations of the things that you're trying to manifest or the things that you are going to manifest, I'm not going to say trying, just pay attention, be aware, and you have to recognize when it smacks you dead in your face. So I love this. This is, this is just absolutely amazing. I feel like no matter what's going on in the world, you make life how you want it to be. Whatever's going on in the world, it doesn't even matter. It's all about how you see it. And it's all about how you want to make your life and how you want your world to be. When we got into 2020, before the whole situation happened, I decided to start journaling and writing. So I have this book for 2020 called A Whole New World. And that was before the whole, before the whole life situation happened. Throughout 2020, I was documenting basically. And the title of that book was called A Whole New World. And I titled that book before, you know, the whole situation happened with the world. And in 2020, for some reason, those numbers like really resonated with me. And I was doing a lot, a lot of soul searching, a lot of trying to figure things out, a lot of putting the, uh, putting the missing pieces to the puzzle together, doing a lot of connecting the dots. And so that was 2020. 2020 was a great year. And I know there's, been, there's people who don't share that same experience with me. And that's one thing about life. You have people that have good outcomes. You have people that have bad outcomes or not so great outcomes. That's just a part of how the world works. But in 2021, I also went into this year knowing that it's going to be even better than 2020. And I, I have another book. It's a five subject notebook that I titled Follow Through. So this year, everything I've been wanting to do or seeing myself doing, I'm doing it. I'm following through, working out every single day, meditating every single day, eating healthy. You know, I used to weigh a lot. I lost the weight. I don't even look the same. When I look back at my old pictures, I don't look the same. I don't sound the same. I don't speak the same. My mentality is just so different now. And so when I started 2021, I just knew that 
I was going to be attending a lot of workshops, a lot of conferences, a lot of seminars and things of that nature. A lot of self-development workshops. And we are entering June of 2021. And I have been, I can't even count at this point. It's just been so many multiple conferences every single month. And there were some conferences and workshops and seminars and whatever that were at the same time, at the same date. And I basically had to be in two places at the same time. But luckily, some of those conferences, they they were able to be recorded. So I was able to go back and catch the replay. Everything that you see, whether you're outside, whether you're inside your house, it all started, it was put there because of an idea. So all these ideas, everything that I see with my mind's eye, I'm going after it. That's how easy it is. You just have to make a decision on what you desire and only do things that lead to that. Procrastination is like, procrastination leads to failure. Procrastination is comfortable. It is, and procrastination will keep you back from doing the things necessary for yourself and for your life and for your family. And after so long, you know, you get to a point and it's like, F all this, I'm, I'm not, I can't, I refuse. Why? Why? Like this year thus far has definitely been a year that I have invested so much into myself. I invested so much in myself. I cannot see anybody taking me to the heights and levels that I'm trying to go besides me. These conferences, these workshops, and these seminars that I'm doing, most people do not see the value in this. They don't see the value in investing in themselves. When you tell someone the cost of a workshop or a seminar, the only thing they focus on is the money part, how much it costs. What really matters at the end of the day is what value are you getting from this? What are you learning? How can you apply this information in your life? And I'm, I have to say that I, I've been attracting these conferences because I put myself on that frequency of self-development for 2021. And every time I look around, it's like another conference. Ooh, I want to go to that one. Another conference. Ooh, I want to go to that one. It's just been amazing. Right now, I'm at this conference with Stormy Nicole Wellington, Coach Stormy. She's a phenomenal woman. Her growth and the way that she just elevated and the things that she's doing right now, it's just, my mind is just blown. We're in millionaire school and basically this is a self-development course, a self-development workshop, learning how to connect with yourself learning how to connect with people, learning how to communicate with yourself, learning how to communicate with people, and learning how to campaign. The first event we did was in Miami, Florida, and it was only supposed to be Stormy, Coach Stormy, and Pete Vargas. Love some Pete. And then she, because she's doing her thing behind, you know, behind the scenes in the background, She's now making connections with the likes of Grant Cardone and his wife. And guess what? They showed up at the at they showed up at the event in Miami. So the event is tomorrow. We have no idea what to expect. We have no idea who's going to show up. It's just a big surprise at this point. Like I'm just I I I don't even know what to expect at this point. But these last, I want to say it's been 60 days now we've been doing this, but we have three meetups. So this is the second meetup. We have the third meetup next month. But just these 60, uh, did I, is it 60? Yeah, 30 plus 30 is 60. Just these 60 days alone, I 
have just totally been transformed. Like on a whole different, a whole different, I can't even put it into words. I can't, I cannot put this into words. It's just a feeling that when you know something is right for you, you just keep walking in that direction. You just keep walking in that direction. And this just feels so awesome to me. And I'm just so grateful to be here. And just to be in this space. And to be connected to powerhouses is just an amazing feeling. So it's about 9.15. It's still early. I usually like to go to bed at this time because I like to wake up very early in the morning to just start my day early and do the things I need to do. But I'm gonna walk around this hotel for a bit. I need some water. I need to find out where the coffee is. And I'm gonna go ahead and go work out for like 30 minutes. I'm gonna go to the gym and do some cardio and do some squats and uh, come back to the room and get ready for tomorrow. And I encourage everyone to do some sort of self-development workshop. And don't just do it. Don't just go and take notes. As soon as you learn something new that you feel can elevate your life, your personal journey, and your personal growth to the next level, implement it, implement it immediately. Because you can accumulate all the knowledge in the world. Like, I read a lot of books. But as soon as I read a chapter or read a sentence that I'm like, hmm, okay, let me go ahead and try that. Applied knowledge, that's the real tea. That is the real tea, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Don't just be a book reader or a bookworm. When you're doing something new, when you're trying new things, it's gonna feel uncomfortable. I'm still uncomfortable. I might go up on stage tomorrow that makes me uncomfortable, but guess what? If I have the opportunity to go, to go on stage, I'm gonna go. Why not? Why not? Because guess what? Me going up on that stage and saying whatever it is that I have to say is going to open up new doors for me. It's going to open up new doors within myself and it's gonna open up new doors with who's ever who, with who's ever in the room. The possibilities are endless. And that's how you have to go into every single day, just knowing that the possibilities are endless. Whatever routine you have going on in your life that you're tired of, you have to change it. You have to step out of that. You have to make yourself uncomfortable if you wanna see any type of change any type of change you have to put yourself in uncomfortable positions so that way doors can open up for you i have so much to do in this world i have so much to do and i'm just happy that i'm at this point right now where i've just totally stepped out of my comfort zone and i'm only walking in in the direction and where i see myself I'm not doing anything else. I am married. You hear me? I am married to my goals, my dreams, and my vision. And everything else can kiss my ass. And that's on period. This world moves so fast. You can be the most disciplined person. You can be someone who manages your time wisely or manages the activities that you do wisely and time still goes fast but it's better to be in a position where you are someone who's managing your time wisely and managing your activity activities wisely and time is moving fast versus being that person who is just stuck in a cycle not doing anything to elevate themselves to the next level and time is moving fast that right there is torture. That is torture. To be stuck in a cycle over and over again, day in and day out, is the same routine that you're doing. You're going to a job that you hate. 
you're going to a job that doesn't pay you enough or there's a cap there's a cap and you can't make no more money than that you wake up take your kids to school go to work pick your kids up go home do whatever you got to do in the, in the house for you know your kids and whatever and then go to sleep wake up do it again Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then you have your two days off and they go by in two seconds because you're doing all your errands on the weekend because during the weekdays, you're too busy, you're too tired, you're drained mentally, physically. And so you try to get all your errands and, and household things that you need to get done on the weekends and then Monday comes, and it's like the cycle starts all over again. That's torture. That is torture. And I'm, I, I don't want to offend anybody. Because some people have to do that. They don't have to, but they don't know any difference. They don't know any different. They don't believe in anything different. They just think that that's what it is. And there's a handful of people that know that there is a different life out here. And then you have the other handful of people that know that it's a different life out here and they're taking action. So you have people that's stuck in a cycle. You have people that know that they can do more and there's greater, but they're not doing anything about it. They're not taking action. And then you have the people that know and are taking action. And I'm just so grateful and so happy that I believe in myself enough to just step out of all of this shit. And I apologize because I don't even use profanity. But I am so grateful that I truly believe in what it is I desire to do in this world. And it's so much. Y'all, I've had so many jobs and I'm about to get teary-eyed. Girl, stop. <laughs> stop. Okay. Please. But I've had so many jobs and I used to always think that something was wrong with me. Like, why? Why am I always leaving these jobs? Why am I always like just quitting or getting fired? I really thought something was seriously wrong with me. Like, was, like I was unstable. And I realized that every single job I've had, I've mastered it. Mastered it, okay? To where I'm training people. My lips are so dry. I'm a fast learner and I master every single thing I do. So if I can master all these jobs and there's a cap on how much I can make and I am basically overworking myself and I'm feeling like I'm getting burnout, there's a problem right there. And one thing I've learned from Grant Cardone from attending his workshop, there is no such thing as burnout. Burnout only happens or someone only feels my alarm went off, but there's no such thing as burnout. There's no such thing as burnout. Burnout only happens when the reward is not great enough. And when he said that during his workshop, that was all I needed to hear. His workshop was three, three days long from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That was all I needed to hear. Because every job I've had, I've always felt like, you know, I've mastered the job too quickly. And now I'm bored. Because there's no more incentives. There's no incentives. I'm capped. And I'm overworked. I'm doing too much. And there's a cap on my income. Where's my money? Where's my money?
you want me to train these new people you want me to train the new supervisor coming in where's my money where's my money if I can put so much energy into a job if I can put so much energy into an appointment employment an employer getting a basic paycheck and being capped not being able to make more than that I can do the same thing for myself and my income will never be limited stop playing with me I don't see how people brush their teeth once a day I just I don't understand y'all like I don't get it like I don't I don't I, I need to brush my teeth again like I just can't do that This candy jar right here is so necessary. This is a pro tip when you guys attend um, conferences and workshops and all that seminars. Get you some candy, peppermints. I have some Jolly Ranchers in here and I have some life lifesavers. Get you some, get you some of these with a cute little candy bowl to put on your desk in front of you because there is nothing worse. There is nothing worse than sitting eight hours plus at a conference next to people with bad oral hygiene. That is the worst. So this is a pro tip. You shouldn't have to suffer. You deserve better than that. I brush my teeth minimum twice a day. Um, there are some days where I brush my teeth like four times a day that I just don't, especially after you eat certain things or drink certain things, especially if you're a coffee drinker, like you just have that that heavy feeling on your tongue. Like, I don't see how people do it. I just don't see how people just go all day without brushing their teeth again. Like, I just, I don't understand it. I don't get it. <laughs> Friday. of course I'm gonna be the only one in the gym like come on but I love this gym this gym is awesome like they have everything
you got to have that confidence to know you can do anything. When I started hosting, I didn't know I could do this for real. I grabbed the mic and I just killed it. I said, oh no, I like this. <laughs> I was at that DJ with the DJ. I said, man, you got to play this right here. These people ain't going to feel you. Play this right here. I always had confidence to know I can take over any room. Starbucks here. Hi guys, I'm just leaving my event. I'm heading back to my room. I'm just so happy that the hotel that I'm in is not forcing you to wear a freaking mask because that's just insane. Like you have to walk around with a thing on your face all damn day long. But I do have one of those clear masks that you can put over your face. But even sometimes wearing that can be very annoying. So I'm just happy that I can walk around freely and not have to wear my mask. So I just got some coffee and I am about to head back up to my room and get into some things, take some cute pictures, and I don't know, I might step out tonight in these Texas streets, and these Houston streets, I'm not too sure yet, but it's definitely a vibe outside right now, and in the city that I'm in, I'm like um, right downtown where pretty much everything is, so I might go out and do some exploring, we'll see. So that's what it is. Catch you guys in the Wow. I feel like the pools are like shaped like Texas. I don't know if, it, if that's how Texas is shaped on the map. I could be wrong, but I feel like that's how Texas looks on the map. And I'm so mad. Well, not really. But I didn't bring my bathing suit because I wasn't expecting to do any type of water activities at all. But that looks so cool. It's like a, a lazy river. Wow, and I really want to get in it. Back to my room. Talking about self-development and talking about, you know, seminars and workshops and conferences and boot camps and things of that nature. So if you're into all of that, you're gonna love this channel. I'm just letting you know that right now. So just go ahead and subscribe and just get it out the way. So I am back up in my room. And today has been just phenomenal, you guys. Like, I cannot even put into words how I'm feeling. It's just indescribable. I've been to many conferences many workshops, many, many boot camps and seminars. And every time I leave an event, it, it's just so much added confirmation for me. And it lets me know that I am not crazy. I am not crazy at all. People think that working on yourself, people think that self-development and growing in elevation is something that's corny. And that's something that Coach Stormy also talks about in this workshop that we just did called, well, this part of the workshop was called communication. So we did connect. This part of the conference is called communication. And then the next part in Las Vegas next month will be called campaigning. But a lot of people feel like self-development and working on yourself is corny. And I don't understand that. And so I would feel like I was crazy because I would be so amped up and so hyped to attend these conferences. And I used to invite people with me. And no one would want to go with me. And I don't know if I mentioned this like in the beginning of the video because I'm... I'm just recording, so this video might seem like it's all over the place, but I now understand why wealthy people are so lonely. They have all this money, and they're just lonely because they don't have no one to come with them. They don't have no one to go with them. And so on this journey of self-development, it has been a lonely journey. No one thinks the way I do. No one takes action the way that I do. 
no one applies the information that they learned the way I do. No one is okay with forking up a couple hundred a couple hundred dollars to attend these conferences like I would. No one sees the value in these workshops, in these seminars, in these boot camps like I do. As soon as someone hears the cost of how something of how how much something is, that's all they hear is the price. And for me, the price when I feel like something is worth it, when I know that something is worth it, that price goes in one ear, not the other. I need to be there. I need to be in the room. I've attended virtual conferences as well, and they are still amazing. They're still amazing. So if you're still in a city or state where, or country where you're not able to travel, but you can attend an online conference or something like that, I recommend it. But let me tell you something. There is nothing like being in the room it's just a whole different experience a whole different experience you're able to connect more with people when you're physically in the room when you're physically in the room you're able to talk to people you're able to feel people's energy and you know how you have those different assignments if you're someone who have been to conferences and things like that when you have those activities and those assignments where you have to kind of talk to your neighbor, get up and go to the other side of the room. And that used to make me feel very uncomfortable doing that. Getting my little cute self up to walk across the room and speak to someone else. Not my neighbor, because by the time we get to the activity that we have to do, me and my neighbor are cool. Like, we good, you know, and we, it seems like we kind of know each other, but if you want to get out of your comfort zone when it comes to self-development and elevating yourself and growth and all of that, you have to do some uncomfortable things. And so I would invite people to come with me to these events and it was always the price for them. And I am just so happy and just so grateful that I am able to attend these events and meet and meet like-minded people like myself who think the way that I think because honestly truthfully speaking I really used to think that I, that I was crazy like something was wrong with me like I'm just weird because everyone that used to be around me and I say used to everyone that used to be around me does not see the value in growing and changing And there's people in your life or that used to be in your life. And I'm speaking to myself when I say you, I'm speaking to myself too. But there's people in your life that will try to make you bad for changing. They will try to make you feel bad for changing or for speaking different. They will try to make you feel bad for carrying yourself different. And the only reason why they do that is because they are afraid to change themselves. They are afraid they are afraid to go to the next level in their life or they feel that they cannot or they feel like they just don't know how. So they want to make you feel bad about your decisions. And I'm pretty sure that we have all experienced that. I have on multiple occasions. And these workshops are just confirmation for me that I am doing every single thing that I am supposed to be doing right now. And how do you know that something is a confirmation for you when you're already doing certain things? When you think certain things and you have these different thoughts and then you have someone else that talks about their issues or, or their situations that they're going through or the speaker uh, wants you to do a certain activity, but you've already done it. Tonight, Pete Vargas said that we were writing down our affirmations and he wanted us to record ourselves with our affirmations and put it behind a music or put it behind some type of, you know, sound that we like and to listen to it every single day. 
And it was just so much confirmation for me because I had already done that. And just that right there, someone else who doesn't think this way would look at it and be like, that's stupid. Why would I record myself stating, stating affirmations to myself when I can just go ahead and find it on YouTube? Listen, there is nothing more powerful than your own voice and your frequency and your energy. People can speak life into you but no one can speak life into you like yourself. And that's facts. So I had already recorded my affirmations, saying affirmations to myself. I have a, I got the, the uh, 432 Hertz frequency music from YouTube. I downloaded it and I have a list of affirmations that I say to myself over and over and over and over again of where I see myself. Not where I'm trying to go, where I see myself and where I am going and who I am and who I see myself being, becoming. And I have this on an audio track. It's about six to six to seven, eight hours long. And I, I listen to it at nighttime while I'm sleeping. And when Pete Vargas said to listen to that every single day, that was a reminder for me. That was a confirmation that for number one, yes, I'm on the right track. And for number two, I need to start listening to that again because I did slack off when it comes to listening to my affirmations every night. I have other nightly rituals that I do, but that right there is major keys to listen to it continuously. And then today I now have new affirmations that I wrote, that came from me, that came from inside here, that I'm going to implement throughout my mornings when I wake up. Because I wake up super early, you guys. My goal and my vision and my dream is to wake up every single morning at 4 a.m. Why 4 a.m.? Because it gives me extra time. It gives me a head start in the morning. I used to wake up I used to have to be to work at 8 o'clock in the morning. And so I would get up at like 6.30, 7 o'clock. And that whole hour and 30 minutes, it's just me trying to mentally prepare myself for work. And then I would go to work, work eight hours, come home. By the time I get home, I'm drained. I don't want to do anything else. And then I go to sleep. I wake up the next day and I do it all over again. Where in that scenario did you ever hear anything about time for self? Where in that scenario did you hear anything about positive rituals? Where in that scenario did you hear anything about meditation, working out? I was stuck in a cycle and a lot of people are stuck in this cycle. Some people, they just do not know how to get out of that cycle. I knew that something was wrong. Something was not right with that scenario. I knew that I was missing something. And so I started practicing, practicing waking up early so that way I can have those couple of hours, those extra hours for myself, whether it was reading, whether it was just being up and just loving on myself, pampering myself, working out, starting my day early, talking to myself. And I have been doing this, I wanna say, for a year now, it has been a challenge. And every single day, I am getting closer and closer and closer and closer to waking up at 4 a.m. I am determined. There have been many of times where I've hit the snooze button. And one thing Coach Stormy said today, that I cannot do anymore. Let me find this. Um, I need to take my lashes off. I'm sorry, it's, this lash is really bothering me. Oh my gosh. Mm -mm. I mean, this is my channel, right? This is my channel. You guys are here watching me. I'm just, let me have a real moment, a real, let me have a real me moment right now, okay? I'm taking my lashes off, okay? So just, just deal with it. 
That feels so good. I went from having a problem to solving my own problem to now I'm in this, what you call a battle with myself. I'm battling with my old habits and my new habits. It's a constant fight. It's a constant, like, if you're into the Forex world, it's like, it's a constant bull and bearish movement. It's a constant battle. It's a constant tug of war. So that's where I am right now. But the message that I got today, it will have me getting my ass up when I need to get up at four o'clock in the morning. That's the time that I set my for myself. It has nothing to do with anybody else. Some people will still say, that's crazy. You don't have to wake up that early. Stop being so hard on yourself. No, this has nothing to do with you. You're telling me that because you can't do that. This is something that I want to do for myself. I love, I love having a head start to my day. It makes me feel so good. It makes me feel accomplished. It makes me feel like I got so much done because time, this time moves so quickly. And I would rather this time move quickly and I'm doing productive things with my time versus time moving quickly and I'm not doing anything. And I'm complaining about how there's not enough time. See, when you have a problem in your life, you have to find a solution. You cannot be one of those people that just complain about situations and you don't do anything about you don't do anything about it. I used to be that person. And if you are ever confused about your answers and what you need to do, all you have to do is just just shut up sit down and all the answers that you need and that you're seeking will come to you you ever been home and you're looking for your keys because you gotta go and you're thinking to yourself you're telling yourself you're asking yourself where are my keys where did I put my keys and then you remember yourself tells you where you last saw your keys where you last put your keys or you'll ask yourself some other type of question and I'm gonna use myself as a perfect example. So with this battle with myself of trying to wake up at four o'clock in the morning, some weeks I'm good, some days I'm good. There's other days I hit the snooze button, I hit the snooze button, I hit the snooze button. I'm like, why am I hitting the snooze button? Why is it so hard for me to hit the snooze? I mean, why is it so hard for me some days to get up at four? Why can't I just get up? So this was, this was the answer that I got today for that. I got an answer today. And then I also got another answer a few weeks ago. And the answer that I got a few weeks ago said to me is that one day or one hour, two hours is not going to make a difference. And I wonder if there was another answer I got. Um, I felt like it wasn't worth it. That was the negative side of myself talking to myself. One day is not gonna matter. Me waking up a couple hours earlier is not gonna matter. It's not gonna make a difference. I need to chill out. That was that side of my brain talking. And then the other side was like, no, Remember why you're getting up at this time. Remember why you're doing it. Don't listen to this over here. Remember why. And so the other message that I got today from Coach Stormy, and I felt like she was talking to me, like she called me straight out when she said this. And I have a lot of notes that I that I, I've written today or that I wrote. One of those two. And I have to say this because I caught the chills. I caught chills when she said this. Found it. I found it. <laughs> so 
So my why for waking up early in the morning at four o'clock, four is a significant number, by the way. Four is the number of stability. Me waking up at four, my why is so I can be ahead of the game. I can be ahead of life. I can make up for what I did not know. I can make up for what I did not know back then. So it's, I'm right where I need to be in life, but I don't have time to waste at all. I don't have time to waste. So she said, no more snoozing. Snoozing delays your life. And she was talking about something completely different. But see, that's the way that answers work. Sometimes most of the time they come from you and other times they come from other people but that message from other people was directly targeted to you see no one else probably caught that they caught it but they didn't catch it the way that i caught it because this was another answer that i was looking for this this was the answer snoozing delays your life so me hitting the snooze button at four o'clock delays my life and I'm not having that we're not doing that anymore anymore what I've learned from Coach Stormy and I appreciate this woman so so much I have a lot of mentors some of them are deceased some of these people I've never met some of these people are authors and I read their books constantly, continuously. But Coach Stormy is one of those mentors that I can see, that I can smell, and that I can feel. She is one of those people that lights a fire up under me and makes me want to get up and go. She is one of those people. And I am forever grateful for her. And all my mentors, all of them, because all of them inspire different things within me because I'm not just one personality. I have multiple personalities. I am multiple people in this shell of a body. But she is that one that truly ignites what's inside of me deeply. But one thing that she always says and that resonates so much with me is that we are, me, you, we are where we are in life because of something that we do not know. We are where we are in life because of the thoughts and because of the actions that we did, that we took. And that's why we are where we are. So if you're not in the best financial situation, if you have low self-esteem, it's whatever the case may be, it's because of something that you don't know. And it's because of the thoughts that you told yourself. And it's because of the actions that you took or that you didn't take. It's why you are where you are. And so jumping into 2021, I have been very intentional with who I align myself with. I have been very intentional on who I decide to connect with because my time is very valuable. I don't do certain conversations. I cannot take certain people and I'm pretty sure certain people can't take me and I'm okay with that. This journey thus far has been just so eye-opening. I feel like in this world, it's hard to align with certain people and certain things when you are not in alignment with yourself. And that's something Coach Stormy also talks about. It's going to be very hard for you to try to connect with people and try to serve people. And you don't even know how to communicate with yourself. You don't know how to shut down that negative chatter. 
and correct yourself because we all have it. Even the best of us who feel like we are on top of who feel like we are on top of our our game, our mental game, our spiritual game. We still have that and we have to shut it down immediately. You have to recognize it and shut it down immediately immediately in order to effectively be able to communicate with other people and check them when they start to have that negative self-talk because you recognize that because that's something that's that you used to do or you still do when you check yourself immediately some people are not aware of their negative chatter that they constantly do and when you make people aware of that some people might some people might take offense I'm not even gonna lie because I experienced that as well some people are not ready for that some people are comfortable with just being negative some people are comfortable just feeling defeated because that's what they're accustomed and that's what they're used to and then you have other people that will appreciate you for I don't want to say correcting but making them aware of the, their conversations that they're having some people will truly appreciate that and so if someone is if I don't know you and I catch that and I say something about it to try to flip it for you and you take offense to that I have to I have to I have to I have to go in the opposite direction because one thing I cannot be around as a person that complains and that complains and they have no type of solution I just can't deal I have so many notes and I write my notes on paper and then what I do is I go back and rewrite my notes in my official notebook this is a pro tip even if you're in school whatever it is that you're doing write your notes and everything on paper and then go back and write it in your official official journal or book and I'm getting very sleepy it's like midnight right now going on midnight I'm extremely tired I tried drinking this coffee but it's not working I've really been up for like the last two days I've only gotten like no more than three hours of sleep Thursday and Friday and I have a flight that leaves at I think 8 o'clock but I need to be out of this room around like 6 so I have to take off all this makeup take me a nice shower I don't even know if I want to take a shower I'm gonna be honest T this is TMI right here but just roll with it okay this is my channel and I'm just being transparent but when I have these events and I'm just filled with so much energy, I don't like to wash that off. I want to. I just want to hold on to it. I just want to hold on to that energy. At least for at least for, at least until the next day. I want to hold on to it. And I'm just being transparent here. Even the last even the last meeting we had. I just did not want to wash that off. I wanted to hold on to it for as long as I can. It's always going to be internally, but I don't know. I guess it's just it's just my thing. So I, I'm, I'm going to go in there and just, you know, wash off my face and whatever. I'm going to take a little whole bath. But I do not want to wash off this essence. And I'm just being transparent here. You can call it what you want to. But yeah. If I sit here and try to go through all of my notes, I might as well just have a damn conference myself. <laughs> Seriously, I might as well just have a whole conference. But one of the great takeaways from this workshop, seminar, conference, event, whatever you want to call it, one of the greatest takeaways that I have learned thus far is, is that 
if you are not able to communicate with yourself, communicate. If you're not able to effectively communicate with yourself, if you don't know who you are, if you don't know what you want, if you don't know what you desire, if you don't believe in yourself, if you do not have confidence in yourself, if you are not applying the information, if you are not applying the knowledge that you've learned, it's going to be very difficult for you. It's going to be extremely difficult. That's what it all boils, boils down to. Knowing how to talk to yourself positively. And it's not that you have to be all happy-go-lucky, but you need to know when to check yourself. You need to know how to have a conversation with you so you can then know how to have a conversation with other people. And one last message before I go, because I am just so tired right now. The last message that stuck with me from this event from Coach Stormy. Y'all, there's so much I want to share and talk about. It's just so much. Wow, y'all. If you ever get the chance or the opportunity to be at any type of seminar for self-development, you guys, please go. Please go. Don't think that it's, it's all BS because it's not. Come on, you guys. Like, if you feel like there's something missing in your life, like how I did, go to one of these workshops. Go to one. Go to a few of them. Please. It's so worth it. It is so worth it. And I'll be the first to tell you. But this last message. You grow up looking like your parents. You grow up looking like your parents. But you will die looking like your choices. You grow up looking like your parents. But you will die looking like your choices. Looking like the choices you made in life. We all have a choice. What are you doing? We all have a choice. We all have a choice. What exactly are you doing? That's up for you to decide. That's up for you to decide. The whole purpose of these workshops, seminars, conferences, whatever, it's all the same. The purpose is for self-reflection. It's to help you figure some things out. It's to help you connect dots. Some people are not able to connect the dots by themselves. Some people are not able to find out what they're missing. And I am someone, I do a lot of self-reflection. I do a lot of shadow work. That's my thing. But there was something still missing. And I am so happy and so grateful that I can be at these conferences and connect with people and let them know what other conferences I'm going to. And they let me know what other conferences they're going to. And we can hold each other's hand and go on the next journey together. That's the part I love. Because I was feeling so lonely on this journey. And that's sad. That's really sad. That no one is truly investing in themselves yeah you can watch a couple youtube videos that's cool you can read a couple books that's awesome don't get me wrong but being at workshops and seminars being in the room it's just a whole different type of energy it's a whole different type of vibe it's a whole different type of experience it's deeper than rap so again before i end this video because I feel like I'm slurring my words like I've been drinking and I'm not a drinker but connect with yourself self-reflection believe in yourself attend these conferences and workshops don't look at the money and how much it costs 
see the value in what you're getting. Get the value and put it in a book. Rewrite it, practice it, implement it immediately. Immediately. And you'll start to see changes in your life. So that's all I want to say. I'm going to go ahead and end this, this whatever this was, vlog. And I'm going to check into my flight, book my lift ride, and try to get some rest. Because I'm pretty sure by the time I do all this, take this makeup off, I'll probably be so turned up. And I probably won't get to sleep until I get on the plane. That's how it is. Like, I'm just so naturally high off life. Naturally high off life. I don't need to drink. I don't need to smoke. I don't need to have sex to get me high. What I'm doing right here, attending these conferences and feeding my mind, feeding my mind, connecting with millionaires and billionaires, touching them, smelling them, that gets me high. Being in a, being in a big room with other people that are on the, men, on the same mental frequency as me, that's what gets me high. That is my drug of choice. And so I'm gonna go, okay? I'm gonna go. Thank you for tuning into this vlog. I'm definitely gonna be creating more videos like this where I'm talking with you and I'm connecting with you and I'm still gonna be doing my makeup stuff. I'm still going to be doing my beauty stuff because that's all a part of me. And I hope, I really hope that you found this video, this whatever, <laughs> very useful in any, any capacity in your life. So make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and make sure that you like this video so that way you do not miss out on what I have up my sleeve for next time. So thank you so much, you guys. Take care of yourself. Take care of your mental. And I'll see you on the next video.